Sakti. So just a brief intro about me. Um, I'm a software engineer at GovTech. And uh, yeah, I'm mostly self-taught. And um, I dab dabble in a bit of DevOps lately. And I do write articles. So uh, you can follow me on my Medium, which I'll be flashing later. So how this talk actually came about, came about from one word called feedback. So it's a word that usually makes most of us um, want to cover our ears, but we all know that it's essential for us um, to grow and yeah, to basically learn more new stuff. So that got me thinking, um, are there no quick avenues for people to receive feedback and to give feedback? So I came up with Sele. So uh, as most of you know, Sele is like a singlish term for uh, just say, yeah. And yep, it's a platform which allows you to ask your peers or colleagues questions you've always wanted to know and get feedback as well. Yep, so I'll be having a short demo. Uh, so this is basically the website. So I can add questions that I want to ask. Um, for example, I already added a question here. So how can I be a better developer? So these are questions I can ask my friends, for example. And then go back, copy this website and send it to my friends. So I can send the link to my friends and they can answer it anonymously. So um, yeah, I think um, yeah, sorry, I'm just crapping, but yeah, <laughs> can post a response and going back, the person uh, with that link will actually be able to see it. Mm, where is it? Yeah, it's here. Uh, for your information, I didn't write all of these answers. Yeah, it's just random answers given to me. Yep, so this, uh, uh, this is my platform. So, yep. Basically, you can ask questions and people will answer them anonymously. Yeah, I think I'm running a bit short of time. But <laughs> yeah, you can try, uh, try it on sayle.com if you like. Okay, so let's talk geeky. So I'll try to uh, speed up this part. Uh, basically, my application is coded on React.js and Node.js as backend and uh, MySQL and SQLite. So MySQL is because um, most of the data there is relational. So yeah, and SQLite is actually an ORM tool which wraps around uh, MySQL. So I don't actually write any MySQL statements. So yeah, you can ask me more about that later. And um, I would like to talk about logging also for this talk. Um, so it's something that I've learned while building this project. So logging is actually a, mo a step that most people tend to overlook because you may think that, oh, it's just a side project. Why do I need logs, right? But I'm here to prove you wrong because um, these websites are from China and they are obviously trying to hack um, my site. So I actually got these logs from uh, my server, which is on DigitalOcean. Yeah, so that's why logging is very important. And I'm actually using uh, Winston and Morgan as loggers. So Winston is actually a logging library in Node.js, um, if you guys use Node.js. Um, and Winston is awesome because you can see the different levels of logs. So for example, if I set my log level to verbose, I will only be able, able to see um, logs which are lower in level. So error one info I'll be able to see. If I set it to debug, for example, um, I can of course see more of those logs. So this actually helps um, to segregate different logs for different environments. Lah. Yeah, and uh, Morgan as well. So Morgan is a HTTP request logging middleware. So um, any endpoints that you hit, right, uh, Morgan will actually uh, record it for you. Yeah. And actually, I wanted to show a demo on code, but I don't think I have much time left, do I? Okay, I'll just do it. Uh, yep, so I wrote a short code to actually demonstrate how... Uh, oh, shit, it's really small. To demonstrate how uh, Morgan and Winston work. <laughs> Sorry, what? Can you make it bigger, please? Another two times. <laughs> Maybe. Is this better? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah. So uh, I wrote, uh, I'm, I imported Winston and Winston daily rotate file. So basically, you include it inside your server.js code and then um, I set it to. 
currently is 1. So I only have two levels, so I'll get uh, 1 and error. So let me just do a quick demo. Oh shit, it's really small too. Yeah. Yep, so as you can see, I only get error and one, but if I set it to a higher level, so for example, um, set it to CV. So CV is the lowest level, and of course, I'll get more locks. So yep, I got a lot more locks. So this is actually good in differentiating between your development environment and your production environment. So as you can see, the one at the bottom is um, done by Morgan. So I only went to the root, uh, only went to localhost 8080. So it's uh, printed like that. Yep, so if I wanted more information on Morgan, I can actually change uh, dev to something called combine. So combine uh, allows more locks and yep, it's much easier to get more information out of it. Yep, as you can see. Okay, so uh, just to do a quick demo on it because yeah, I was told that I need code. <laughs> to show code. Yeah, but No, but Okay, sure. <laughs> I'd love to. Okay, so um maybe just one last point before I wrap it up. So I've learned to not reinvent the wheel. Uh so I'm not very I'm not a very good in design person, so I I really can't do design. So uh, my first learning point is that um, you see different apps, take uh, inspiration from them, and then that's how you build your interface. Yep. So um, as you can see, the one on the left is mine, and the one on the right is actually from meetup.com. So yeah, um, that's all I have. And yeah, you can follow me on this Medium, uh, Medium GitHub, and yeah, my website. And yeah, don't. Uh, forget to leave me a comment on my talk <laughs> on sayla.com. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. I'm not sure if you addressed this, but one of the classic problems with uh, internal feedback, even if it's anonymous, is that people don't trust that it is. Mm -hmm. that you can solve that at all. Like, so when I give you feedback, I know that, especially if you're a manager, I know that you don't know, somehow secretly know who I am and mm -hmm. put me on the shit list. Okay, so the whole idea of it being anonymous is in the hope that people give you honest feedback, right? Yeah. But your point is they might not, or they might utter yeah, some rubbish like without you. They often don't because they think even, like, they just think that it might not be anonymous. And, yep. Or they'll just, like, kind of censor it a bit. Like, they'll be like, oh, I am not sure about this when they really mean it's terrible. Yep, that's true. Maybe one way to solve it would to make an, a name option, a uh, name field, and um, it's entirely optional whether you want to put your name or not. Yeah, that's just one way to solve it. Yeah. Yep. Have you thought about the feedback loop as if I'm giving you an anonymous feedback? Yep. Like, how would you reply back to me if you want? Can't really, there's no way to, but... <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, yeah, good question. Um, but yeah. I understand that you want to make it anonymous for the person who's replying back to you. Yes, correct. And then, like, get it back to Yeah. Yeah, probably should think about that. Okay. Thank you. How long did uh, it take? How long did it take? Um, three months. months. Yeah. So uh, I expected it to take a lot less time, but um, as with every other project, you always exceed your deadlines, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Did you say one of your projects in your GovTech? Uh, from your uh, Ask Jimmy? Nope, nothing to do with GovTech. I work on an entirely different project in GovTech. Uh, similar stack perhaps, but no, nothing to do with GovTech. Yeah. Yep. Uh, any tips to share about the design? I thought it looked quite nice. Uh, design, well, as you can see, you not equals to user. So. <laughs> Uh, this is just a reminder for myself. Lah. So when I first designed the app, uh, I thought it was very intuitive until I went to ask my friend. And she was like, huh, what do I click next? And I thought, okay, you not equals the user. So um, I think what helped is to put prompts uh, 
to put prompts over your website on steps to follow so that the user is guided on what steps to take. So yeah, that's one of my learning points for but this you project. Skip it, right? Sorry? But you always skip it, right? When you always see messages on the website, like follow this. You can make it no choice. <laughs> they have to complete their step first before they go on to another. Or you can always have um, maybe a progress bar whereby you had list out the different steps. That's at least what I learned la, from my designer friend. Yeah. Thank you.